Hello everyone and welcome to a new loot video. Today we're gonna do loot from 1000 gold keys. For the collection log we are currently at 3 out of 14 and hopefully we will get all the items so if we are lucky we shall be 10 out of 14 at the end. We are currently at 53 gold keys in total. But I do have all the redwood pyre logs and the urium remains. I think I need a little bit more, but uh, I should be very close to getting 1000 gold keys. The main reason for this video is to get as many collection log slots as possible and the one in 139 drop rate for elite clues. I'm not sure if this is a good method for Iron Man to get elite clues, but for main accounts, this should be one of the better methods if you have some money laying around instead of burning money by opening dragon implings. By cremating your remains, each elite clue costs about 1.6 million GP, but if you're opening dragon implings, it's about 25.8 million GP for each elite clue received. So I think you know who's the winner here. And there is 1000 gold keys, time to open some chests. There is the first collection log, the sealed boots. Nice. And there's the helmet as well. Very nice. And there is all the purple keys. Now we are going for the black keys. Another collection log, gold lock. Yeah, the green book. And there's the other book as well. Nice, nice. And there's the first elite clue. I'm gonna stack up all the elite clues in the crafting guild, so um, hopefully I'll get a little bit more. I think I will get about, on drop rate, it should be maybe six elite clues. I'm not sure if you can get the dupes from the Zealot uh, outfit, but uh, so far I don't have any dupes, so I might be lucky, but I'm not really sure. Rune Scroll of Bloodbark, okay. Not a collection log, but... Uh, I'm not really sure what that is. I guess it's for a new, or not a new, but it's fairly new blood bark set. And there is the swamp bark as well. I will probably never use it, but uh, I guess it's nice to have. And there's all the black keys done. Now we can do the crimson one. I'm not really sure how this works, but uh, I guess I guess you get from the journal as well. You read it, reading through. The scroll reveals a secret to infusing split bark armor with nature runes at a nature altar to create swamp bark armor. Okay, okay. And I guess this is for the blood altar. Yeah. <laughs> There's a second gold lock as well. I'm not sure if you can use it to something. I think it's useless since I think you only need one anyway. There it is, the row bottom. We only need the top now to finish the entire outfit. There's the second elite clue. There it is. The last collection log. Let's see how many keys it took for me to get all the collection log slots. Okay, so I have 584 gold keys left, which means I used 416 gold keys to Kinda green log, the uh, Shades of Morton, let's see, yep, these I can't get from uh, gold keys, so 
I kind of need to go back and uh, do the lower tier remains. But uh, at least I got the full set. The outfit. Which is very, very nice. We got three gold locks in that uh, that run. What the hell? And there is a little clue number three. And all the crimson keys has been used. Now we can go to the gold red key. One thing I don't understand is why there is five different gold keys. Why can't it just be only one type of gold key? Because I think all the gold keys have the same drop rate of the same items. So I don't see a reason why there should be five of them instead of one. If you know something about it, please let me know in the comments. There is clue number five. All the red keys has been used. Now we got only the brown keys left. And the two last gold keys. What do we get? Okay, an amulet and adamant plate legs. Well, there is loot from 1000 gold keys complete. And the final loot comes out to be 13 mil GP. And we also got in total 9 elite clues, which are slightly under the drop rate. And for the collection log, we are now 10 out of 14 with 49 Amulet of the Damned, 15 gold locks and one of each of the outfit and the two books. And these you can't get any uh, duplicates from. When it comes to the experience earned, I earned 229,000 Prey XP, 949,000 Fire Making XP and 220,000 Attack, Strength, Defense and Hit Point XP. When it comes to time used, I used 5 hours killing Urium remains, 3 hours to cremate, 3 hours to make sacred oil and 1 hour to use all the gold keys, which comes out to be 12 hours in total. When it comes to the supplies used, I used 1265 Urium remains, redwood logs and a sacred oil. Have in mind that you do get some crafting and fire making XP when making sacred oil, but it's not much at all. Getting gold keys really depends if you are an Iron Man or not. If you have the money as a main, you should rather buy Urium Remains and Redwood Pyre Logs. If you are buying Urium Remains and Redwood Pyre Logs to get 1000 gold keys as a main, then it should cost you about 12 million GP. And if people are wondering what I did with all the elite clues, they are in the bank and I will be stacking them up to make a future clue opening video. Thank you all for watching and I will see you in the next one.